Hello, I'm Anne Murphy, and I'm delighted to welcome John Flint, who's going to join me to talk about the newly formed UK Infrastructure Bank today. John, we're sadly not able to speak in person, given the current guidance in relation to the pandemic. So welcome from your home office, and thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. John, you've been appointed as Chief Executive of the UK Infrastructure Bank. Could you outline for us the purpose of the organisation, firstly? Yeah, the, the UK Infrastructure Bank's purpose is very clear, very precise. Uh, we have been established to help finance the infrastructure required to help the UK achieve net zero and to facilitate regional and local economic growth. So, so two very clear strategic priorities, all about net zero and the levelling up agenda. And what made you want to lead this bank, John? <laughs> there were three reasons that I really wanted to, to do this. The first was the opportunity to do a startup, to build a business from ground up and to put a team together and to create a new culture from scratch um, in pursuit of a, of, a, of a mission that I think is important. So that, that first aspect of it being a startup, I've never done anything like this before. That was very appealing. I think the second reason for me was a rare opportunity to get inside the public sector and to understand how it works. You know, the public sector is more involved in Western economies now than at any point in my career. Um, and if you consider the last couple of years of the pandemic, it's HMT has underwritten big parts of the economy for that period. So I want to learn how the public sector works. And this is a wonderful opportunity to, to do that from the inside. And thirdly, um, and by no means the least of the three reasons was just the mission, the urgency of the net zero mission and the leveling up agenda. Both have an urgency to them. They're critical. They will require the best that this country's got to bring solutions to bear. And I want to be at the table and I want to see if I can contribute to that. So that's why I'm here. The mission, as you mentioned, is really very clear. What's your vision for what you think the UK Infrastructure Bank can achieve? Yeah, we have the opportunity to bring the best of public sector life and the skills of the private sector, bring those together and create something new, create an, an organisation that is small and focused and is able to punch way above its weight because of the skills that we assemble and the way in which we work, the way in which we bring ourselves together to try and find solutions. And we're deploying public money into market gaps or into market failures. So we're trying to fix problems that the private markets on their own can't fix. That's a really interesting intellectual puzzle or problem to, to solve. And, and I want to create an organization that's got highly skilled, highly motivated people who like working together, who like solving problems, who like taking risk, and, and who are inspired by the mission, that the mission of creating something enduring for the country that's going to make a real difference. John, you mentioned that um, this is your first time working in the public sector and your career prior to leading the UK infrastructure has been largely in the, the private sector. How have you found the experience so far? Yeah, I think the experience so far has been very positive. You know, I indicated earlier that one of the reasons I wanted to do this job is I wanted to learn how the public sector works. And I've got that learning opportunity, which, which I'm enjoying. Um, it's different. It's a different environment to the one that I grew up in professionally, um, but I'm enjoying that difference as well. And I think I'd encourage anyone who's thinking about joining the bank, either from the public sector or the private sector, to think about the opportunity to learn how the other side of the world, how the other side of the world works. So, yeah, it's, it's different, but I've really enjoyed it so far. And I would imagine that anyone with the right mindset would enjoy it just as much as I am. We're now in the process of, of building your executive team. Um, when it comes to culture and, and the sort of people you'd like to have in that group, who would you like to bring on board and what sorts of qualities would you see them bringing? Yeah, well, I'm really excited about the opportunity to put together this founding team. You know, I want a group of people who are inspired by our mission, people who really want 
to commit themselves to building an enduring organization for this country and one that can solve very meaningful problems that, that need to be solved. I want a group of people that enjoy learning because we're all going to learn mm -hmm. a lot on this journey, either about the public sector or the private sector or about new technologies, about regional and local economic growth. We're all going to be learning a lot. I also want people who like to teach, um, if that makes sense, people who are willing to mm -hmm. share their experience and their skills and build the team behind them. We're always going to be a small team. So the seniors, I think, have got a special responsibility and an opportunity to teach those that are coming up behind them. And then finally, you have to be purpose led, I think, if you're going to be part of this team. And if we can find people with that mix of attributes, um, inspired by the mission, want to learn, enjoy teaching others um, and are inspired, again, by the, the simplicity and the clarity of um, the mission and purpose of the organisation, I think we'll have a great time building this bank together. I think it'll be, it will be one of those rare, fun opportunities in banking. It does sound really exciting. And we are now live with the first five opportunities within your executive team. So that's the, the chief people officer, the chief risk officer, the chief finance officer, the general counsel and the head of banking. Uh, so if anybody watching is interested to find out more about any of those positions, then please do feel free to get in touch with me or any of the OGIS team. Um, thanks so much for your time today, John, and for the opportunity to support you in putting the team together uh, for this hugely important national organisation. Thank you.